is going on you guys? What up Dino Bambino? And finally you guys get to see my new McLaren wrap. And this car, by the way, has stayed stock for about a solid Six days? Nah, five days. Five days. I get it five days. A little longer than I expected it to. I'm five a little days disappointed days. in you. All right, okay. Well, so here it is, guys. Huge shout out to Dean. Thank you so much for um, pulling this through. And also, a lot of this, a lot of my rap inspiration doesn't really come from here. It comes from right there. One of my favorite things, really, with working with Alex, he brings out the inspiration to bring out new creativity for us. You know, I'm so used to doing the same basic colors because, you know, that's what most people want. But this is what kind of puts us in a worldwide recognition and it takes a guy like Alex to come out and want to do something crazy like this to want us to want to do something like this. One very quirky thing that I have on this car that I'm this new and that you guys should all try is this thing called Slip Low. And he also just launched his company. So please explain what Slip Low is because it's actually pretty nice to me. Well, Slip Low is the first universal skid plate. Uh, if you've ever come through a sharp driveway and hit the bottom of your bumper and you've cracked like a carbon fiber lip or any kind of bumper, yeah, I'm for this. Used to that. <laughs> yeah, I've seen your last BMW uh, lower lip that's in the trash. <laughs> this actually will take that absorb and it'll absorb that impact so your bumper doesn't have to take that hit or your carbon fiber splitter doesn't have to take that hit. So before you, you know, say, oh, I saw this wrap, I'm gonna click off the video, I don't care anymore. Just wait for a second because this wrap actually has a really cool story behind it. The OGs can probably figure this out, but in case you just follow me or, you know, just figure out who I am, my first Huracan wrap, the Unicorn V1, was uh, wrapped by Mr. Dean over here in this pink and blue and black and white camo. And that was like my first introduction into this like crazy wrap exotic world of, you know, things. Um, which was also inspired by him. I wanted to bring that pink and blue black onto this car, hence why you see the pink and the blue. Also, my RS7 was this had this urban camo pattern that was kind of Eon also inspired, and I brought that back onto this car. I combined the two, and then, and then, and then, the blue just looked better on white, and the pink just looked better on black. That is why I was like, hey Dean, let's just do, let's just do both. So we did the driver's side in white camo, and we did the passenger side in dark camo, which is just super amazing. Alrighty, Good. hey, so thank you guys for tuning in. Um, this is just a quick little air champagne cheers celebration to many more crazy wraps to come. And before I go balls deep with the build on this car, you know, body kits, exhaust, and power upgrades, and blah, 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 blah. So it, it was just, I just had to do like a throwback to my first wraps um, as the first wrap of this car. Also, please comment down below if you have any ideas for like names I should be calling this car. Like my M2 is called Bubbles and my Huracan is called Unicorn, but I need something very original to call this name, call this, call this name, call this McLaren. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys on the next shenanigan video. going on you guys I have finally showed stay tuned for that and uh